things. I really like it because there's the birch tree, how um, she really made description in it, like it's like a poem, but it's made in a picture because she put the colors on it. And I'm not sure what these other trees are, but I know these are waterfalls, and she really made the picture come alive, and it's so pretty with all the colors she picked. So. And what about the color green? It's my favorite color. <laughs> I remember um, my mother used to be a sewer and she used to have these simplicity patterns and I used to copy the drawings of the women on the packages. That's how I started drawing. That was probably one of my first things that I did. And after a while when I kept doing that and doing that and she'd say, is that really your own work that you're drawing or are you just copying somebody else's work? So then I realized I had to start, you know, doing something original. So that was probably what launched me into doing my own creative work. Which is your favorite painting here of all moms? Of course, the painting of me, my first steps. And why do you like it other than that it's just you? <laughs> Tell me about it. Because it shows me in a natural setting of just, you know, being outdoors and just being free and, you know, not having any responsibilities of life. I just love your curly hair. <laughs> you know, an artist is based on a blank page. He fills a blank page with something. And maybe it looks like it's a bird, a tree, or whatever. But what he's filling the page with is himself, how he sees the world, how he feels about things, the emotions. And, and that's what she always had. Like, it's not something that you would find in everybody. Now I can I can draw something to look just like it is. But it's not the same thing with Sharon. Does. That's why in every picture you can see Sharon. Um, this is my favorite painting that I love Sharon did. Uh, I really like it because it just shows a bridge. Yeah. And it's really pretty. Yeah. And it shows the world. Like 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 and the water down below really adds to it. The first time I heard about RISD was when a neighbor, Ann Kaplan, had a niece from Canada who came to visit her. And this girl told me that, I must have been about 15, told me that RISD was the best art school in the world. <laughs> and uh, I was very impressionable, I guess, and at that time I was already deciding that's what I wanted to do, was be an artist. I was working in my dad's store one Saturday and my mother called me on the telephone. He had a little telephone in the back of the store. And I went to answer the phone and she said, you got a letter from Rhode Island School of Design. And I said, open it, open it. And she opened it and I said that I was accepted. And I was like ecstatic because I hadn't applied anywhere else. And then I remember them putting me in a room by myself. And this room had just a table and a piece of paper on it and there were two marks on this piece of paper. One was like a triangle and the other one was something else and I had to make a drawing out of these two marks on the paper. So I made a worker in the rice field in a coolie hat and um, that was the drawing that I submitted to them and they accepted that, I guess. And then I remember after I did that, I went to the museum after my interview and I saw paintings that I had never seen by before by some French painters. Corot, I can't remember the other one, but I remember being really impressed because they were dark forest scenes in France and I was very taken by them. I just felt really rich walking around this museum by myself and thinking that I'm going to be able to go to school here. and I had this teacher named uh, John Frazier who later became the president of the school. At the end of the class he would have us line our paintings along the wall. And then he'd have this long stick 
and he'd go to each one. They called it a crit in those days. In other words, it's criticism, and you, you better get used to it because it's not easy. And uh, he came to my painting and he said, isn't there anything else you'd rather do with your life? In other words, my work wasn't good enough. You know, he was like trying to discourage me. And that very same painting is the Red Sail. And that Red Sail was submitted to the Boston Art Festival. And his painting and Gordon Peer's paintings were refused. And that to me was incredible that two of my teachers were turned down from the same art show I got into. Why do you like those two? Because they have so many pretty colors in there. Are you okay? It's very pretty. I like it because it has so many colors too. And I love the bright into it. And one more. And I like the hot pink. You like the hot pink? This is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. Because I've always loved how my mom uses stuff like shells. And if you look down here, these types of things. She's always, you know, incorporated items she just finds into her weavings and paintings. And I always thought that was so cool. This is rope that she just takes different things. She would find stuff and think that would be a great way to work in and she would build around that concept. And of course, red is one of my favorite colors, so I've always liked this one. I had a business called The Sheepish Grin and I got a lot of my yarn from her. <laughs> It's awesome that you came. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So you can take I a picture of Kelly. It. What's that? I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I haven't seen her in a month. Oh, really? So I didn't think she was going to come today. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a month. Yeah. Okay. So cute. Okay. So what do you think of your mixture of This has got to be your favorite painting, right? Of all her stuff. It's my favorite painting. How come? Who's in it? It's a cute little baby with a bald head. I think it's supposed to be me. It's supposed to be? <laughs> when mom was just starting out, she must have been in Boston. So cute. What's with the purple stripe? Was she like a punk rocker back then or something? No, maybe it was something in the, in the tea. <laughs> process like getting ready for this show? Oh, it took a long time. We started back around September and when we got finally got the approval for the show to do it here, all of a sudden a lot of these pieces they just started appearing out of closets. They just showed up. The thing about it is that when you live with an artist for as long as I have, you go to a lot of art shows and a lot of the art shows that you go to uh, they are 
singular. There'll be a watercolor show, and the artist will, all they'll do is watercolor. All they'll do is ceramics. All they'll do is, is oils. This show, as we can all see, is maybe eight, nine, ten different mediums of art. The showcase alone has maybe five or six different treatments, jewelry, weaving, baskets, and just incredible. The whole thing is really incredible. Who did all this artwork? I wonder, Who huh? Did? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>